Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of PHT TV and welcome back to our reference premiere Gen 2 discussion. Last week we covered the RP500Ms. We discussed all the new changes from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2 line and we even took those guys apart to show you the internal structure and the brand new internal bracing that they've updated on those guys. This week we're going to dive into the 502S Gen 2 and the 600M Gen 2, but we're not going to we're not going to take these guys apart just yet. Leave a comment below if you want to see me take these apart and show you the internal components at a later date, but basically we want to get these all unboxed and get to those listings as soon as possible. So rather than do them one at a time, we're going to do them a couple or maybe a few at a time and get them out of their boxes so we can set up for a listening and a review. But again, if you guys want to see those taken apart, leave a comment below and I'd be happy to do that at a later date. Without further delay though, I want to see what these guys look like out of the box. So let's get the 502S's and the 600M Gen 2 out of their box. So essentially in every package from the 500's to the 600's to the 8000's, we're going to have our owner's manual, we're going to have our quick reference guide, we're going to have our warranty card, and in some of them we're going to have our speaker feet. So I'm going to put this back. And let's move on to the speakers themselves. So again, we do have this updated padding when it comes to the new gen line. So they are form fitted to the new speakers. And I feel like this generation of packing is significantly better than the previous. It seems to protect them way more. There's a little bit more space between the speakers and the walls of this, between the speakers and the walls of the box. It seems to be a little bit better form fitted and a little bit thicker as well. So I think the packing materials are a little bit better on the new gen line as well. And next we're going to take out our grills. With these being the 502s, you do have four speaker grills because you have two, you have a pair of speaker grills for each line. So we're going to take out one, two, three, and four. And let's go ahead and get these guys out of their boxes. And here we have our new 502 Gen 2 grills. The grills have actually also been redesigned as well. So it does have a tapered stance from the bottom to the top. So it does get thinner as you go down and it gets thicker up here. Now, according to Tony Martin, the industrial designer of these products, essentially what he's doing is he's trying to give it a more athletic stance. So it just gives it a little bit better presence in your room. So I will be unboxing all of the grills on these units and showing you as well because the grills is one of the bigger aesthetic changes to this new generation line. Also what it does is it kind of wraps around the edge and fits better a little bit with the form of the speaker. So I'm going to set these off for now and let's take a look at our 502 Gen 2s. All right, these are gorgeous. These are gonna look great on the wall. And that horn again, every time I see this brand new horn design, I am just in awe about the massive horn that goes pretty much all the way to the edge of the baffle there. All right, well anyways, here we have our 502S Gen 2s. Gives you that great dispersion of the surrounds as well. And actually, let's grab the, let's grab these grills. Now, as for what I was talking about with these grills and how they kind of form fit a little bit better, here's what we're looking at. So one of the things that Tony Martin said when I was talking with him is that the, the design is made to kind of frame the logo a little bit better. So as you can see, it's kind of thin at the top and gets thicker but flatter as you go down. And it kind of gives it that athletic stance like I was talking about, but it also just kind of says like, look at the logo, this is Klipsch. This is the quality awesome stuff that you buy. I'm gonna scoot it out a little bit so I can get the grill on this unit here. You can see it here as well. And it gets wider and thinner as you drop down to the bottom and gives an emphasis on that logo on the center there. Now. In addition to that, this hasn't really changed from the first gen, but essentially I want to show you the back side and show you there is a quarter 20 threading on the bottom of it. And essentially what that does is it allows you to mount these guys in a different way. There is the keyhole mount up top. So if you just want to put them into a screw in a, in a stud, 
a screw in a stud or a drywall anchor of some kind, you want to make sure it can support the weight of it. But it does have this keyhole pre-mounted, so you just pop it onto there and slide it in and it'll hang perfectly. The terminals are flush mounted, so when you get it into the wall, it's not going to stick out at all. And just kind of a gorgeous design around the back too. Now I'm going to set these off to the side for now. And before we discuss more, I'm going to grab a table and we can talk about our RP600 amps. That was the 502S Gen 2. Now let's dive into the RP600M Gen 2. As with the 500s and the 502S2s, we're gonna have our booklet, our information guides here. We're gonna have our, I'm not even gonna pull this out of the wrapper. You, you guys know what this is. This is our manual, our quick reference guide, and our warranty info. I am, however, gonna take a look at this padding as well. So, in the 600s, we actually have an extra piece of padding in here. So, we cover the front, we cover this batch here, we divide the speakers with this foam in the middle, and then we have an extra additional piece of foam that comes through the side here, just to give it that little extra boost of packing there. All right, let's dive into our grills. All right, and like I said before, I am gonna show you the grills in all of these because that's one of the bigger aesthetic changes from Gen 1 to Gen 2. There are tons of acoustic changes, but the grills are one of the bigger aesthetic changes. The tapered grill sitting a little bit more flush with the speaker. So, set these off to the side for now. All right, now here's the big moment. Here's the big reveal. We have the 600 M's, the 600 M Gen 2's. Those look completely different. That is a huge change from the Gen 1's, front and back. It is crazy how much a difference that giant horn makes in the appearance, in the overall appearance of the speaker. It almost looks like the uh, the horn wraps all the way around the speakers. And again, aesthetically, that is one of the huge goals of the speakers, it seems, of this new line of speakers, it seems, is to get the whole speaker to appear more flush all the way around. So you can see the grill wraps, makes it look perfectly flush. There is with the grill, with the brand new grill, like I said, to frame the logo and give it a broader, more athletic kind of stance. Here's without the grill. I would leave the grills off. <laughs> now, unless you got kids that are gonna poke at it, or which I do, so I'd probably end up having to leave the grills on, but unless you have kids that are gonna poke at it or animals that are gonna scratch at it, it just looks gorgeous with the grill off. So I'd probably tend to lean more towards leaving the grill off. One other aesthetic item that you might notice is that the rear end has changed, the binding posts have changed. So instead of a top to bottom, as in the previous generation, they're actually a side by side and they're labeled, this is the low frequency, this is the high frequency driver. So if you wanted to remove those binding straps and buy amp those units as well. Overall, just a beautiful new design. As far as sounds, I can't speak to that just yet. We're gonna have to hook these guys up and take a listen, and we'll get to that on a later episode. But for now, let's go ahead and bring the surrounds back into the picture. All right, so today we unboxed the 600M Gen 2s and the 502S Gen 2s. I'm not gonna go over in depth the differences between previous and current gen as I did that in the 500M video, so go check that out if you have not already. But here's a bullet point list of the changes from Gen 1 to Gen 2. Aesthetically, they have the updated grills to better flow with the cabinet and highlight the logo. The larger horn, not only does this improve the soundstage and imaging, but it also gives them the option to remove the ferrofluid, which is designed to cool the driver, which is no longer needed due to the increased efficiency. Next, we have the enhanced cabinet bracing throughout. And while I'm not gonna take these apart, this episode, again, leave a comment below if you wanna see me take all these units apart at a later date. The new cabinet restructure and the new cabinet bracing is going to overall minimize resonance and improve clarity of the speaker itself. Next, we have the new shorting ring on the woofer to help reduce distortion. And finally, they've been completely revoiced from the predecessor to give you a brand new sound. 
I think that's gonna be about all we have for you this week, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe below. Leave us a comment there as well if you'd like to see me take these apart in a future video to show you the internal components and that new internal bracing. If you guys want to get your hands on a brand new set of the Reference Premier line, hit up Corey or Steven on the Clips Owners Facebook page and they'd be happy to help you. Or go to the website paducahometheater.com to learn more about the new gen Reference Premier line. There will be a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV. brand new reference premiere line. I need to turn off my AC. You guys can probably hear that. <laughs> Hello, this is Jason. Hi, this is Jennifer from Dealer Servicing. Your file just came across my desk. Sorry about that. It was an incredibly important matter about my vehicle's warranty potentially expiring. Break me off a piece of that. Energy drink. Cut away from yourself. Old habits die hard. I cut myself a lot. <laughs>